autism is a kind of genetic thing I don't think so drugs fix nothing you know I think everything starts in an early age and if we don't care take care of our children in the early age I don't think it's something physical I think it's mostly even though like doctors they will say it is physical as you are saying but for me I don't think this is uh, really uh, I, I don't want I don't want to speak about something I don't really know I mean I'm not a doctor uh, but I believe that all problems mental problems in in life there can be a solution other than drugs and if a drugs is the one can help it's possible like some people they have a like a bad balance in their brain but it cannot be marijuana because marijuana make you high and it's going to affect many part of your body it's not going to like let's say it's going to help in your brain area as you claim what about your kidney, your liver, with your chest? You're smoking. So what we did? Let us say for the sake of argument, we fix, we, we did not fix, let us say, we, it helped with this problem. But isn't it going to create a thousand problem beside that problem? And are we going to give autism to, to children? I mean, uh, uh, marijuana to children to smoke? I'm not going to argue with you because I'm not a doctor. I don't know, really. I might be wrong. But I believe strongly that most of mental problems can be solved by, by, by different treatment. People don't have somebody to listen to. A child, he grew in a house where people are busy. Parents are busy going to work. And then when they leave out, even when they have time, they go out and they leave him with a babysitter. So instead of sitting with their child, in the time when they have time for fun now the babysitter which is a stranger which might even abuse the child is the one who will sit with the child you know if i ask you right now why like why in the old days we don't have those problems why they don't appear much why now we have more people have suffering from mental issues more depression people live for centuries before all this, uh, you know, revolution of technology and computers, and they were way better, more happy. Now you will see everybody getting divorced, everybody is depressed, everybody is lonely. The society today, the way it is, is self destruction. They have corona, they shut doors, they set everybody inside, supposedly that will help. And now they have to fix the problem. So children, they are suffering from being alone for a long time. They can't even, you know, function in school. They can't go back to school. Even people, they don't want to go back to company to work in the office. Self-destruction. I believe that all this complicated life of the society today is against a human being. And now they are making it more complicated. So now we have AI. So now we will become more lazy. We don't think the AI thinks for us. If we want to find a solution for something, I go to the, the to this AI program and ask question what I should do. And then a stupid software will tell you what to do. So human being, he lost his, uh, you know, common sense. And that will make him lose his mind. Became just, uh, you know, you see those movies, they, they talk about the future, how uh, those are true. This is where a human being is going. Human being is going to be just a product and machines will be more important. In fact, if all of this continue, most of people, they will become unemployed. And civil war will erupt everywhere in the world because why the rich people, they will hire anybody. They will not. As long legally, they can hire a thousand machine. Why they want to hire a 1,000 human being? They have to pay them health insurance, pay tax, and uh, uh, work environment, health environment. Uh, this guy who sued them, this guy he got injured. Machine. 
the world is hitting to the point of no return. It is the machine world. Even USA Army, maybe in 20 years from now maximum, they will not recruit Army no more. They will recruit only machine operators because the soldier will be a machine. The airplane already is the machine. There's nobody in the airplane. Nobody. And soon they will have an airplane do not need even an operator, which means the machine, the airplane will make decision by itself what to do, when to land, who to hit, who to kill, who not to kill. If I am like this guy, Elon Musk, and I have uh, billions and billions of dollars, and now, you know, like you saw like a Ford company, the employees, they strike, right, against the company. They shut down the company. So now, any employee, any 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 uh, businessman, he will say to himself, "What the heck is this? I mean, look, I almost I lost the whole company. They they strike. They don't want to go to work unless I I bow down to them. What they will do? So now they will start slowly, and you will see, they will start slowly replacing their employees with machines. So this strike will never happen again. So I I, I assure you that Ford and Tesla and all those big companies." In 15, 20 years from now, they will have a ve very little numbers of employees. The rest will be machines. How we can trust people in charge of the machine? You cannot trust people. Uh, actually, I believe time will come and the machine, they will, they will be in charge of the one who in charge of the machine. <laughs> you see this uh, uh, super intelli in intelligent software? That will be actually, I mean, all the movies they say, they show you in the before, which is fiction and crazy movies about the machines making revolution, taking over the globe. It can happen because they are going that direction. They are making computers. They are self-sustained, self-energy, self-order, self-command, self-thinking, self-decision. And then those machines, they have a very powerful power. So what you expect? Just wait. Actually, we are lucky that we are not born 50 years from now. People who they are going to be born 50 years from now, they will wish they never born. Because life will be way, way more ugly. The population will be very big. Unless we have Third World 3, and nukes is used heavily to reduce the population. So population will be so big. Resource will be way little. Many nations are fighting over water and energy. And machinery is everything controlling power. So human being will feel isolated, will suffer more from distress, mental illness, Many more people will commit suicide. Violence will increase because people, they have a stress. And usually when, when people, they are stressed, anything will make them like a bomb. Like, boof, you know, like you say to somebody, where have you been? He, right away, he, he go in, in, to the point he want to fight and take a knife and kill you. The more a human being is stressed, the more he's aggressive and the more he will go into violence. And a human being walking in the direction of more stress. This is why you see those people in, in New York, those liberals, they go and burn and they burn cars and they go crazy and etc. Why? Because they have too much stress in their life. They are very unhappy. They, tr they found Gaza is a way to breathe, to breathe their anger. They are angry. You know, there's many people they do deliver anger, but not because of the purpose or the reason it looked like. Like a woman, she is angry from her husband but she fight with somebody in the grocery store. He's not the husband. But she is looking for anyone. She cannot maybe empty her anger with husband. She have to she have to empty, you know, like the very heavy anger inside her with somebody. She have to shout. She have to scream. She need it. Actually, most of people who who seek violence, 
they seek violence because they have to uh, solve like a, a, an inner problem inside them. They have to empty their anger on something, somebody. So you will see that those people in Gaza, instead of looking at themselves and what they are doing to themselves, they found that the easiest way is not to blame themselves for what's going on. And this is the same on all the Middle East. If the sun is not there, they blame the Jews. If we don't have electricity, they blame the Jews. If it's a dry, they blame the Jews. If a guy could not have babies, they blame the Jews. Anything happened in the society. They found lead in the water, they blame the Jews. The Jews, the Israeli, they came and they dropped lead in the water we drank. They accused the Jews for anything. So it's a solution for many society. It's a solution of hate. So those people are upset from the unsuccess in their life. And we have to empty our anger against our unsuccess. And we need a target to shoot. Like somebody, he got his gun, he starts shooting a target. Why? Because he is simply, he want to shoot somebody. I mean, he is so angry. He is so upset. Like the same as those sick people who go in Walmart or university or school or in the, and they start shooting everybody. This is why you will see more and more those crimes in the society around us. You see, why people before, they don't go and take a sword and start chopping the head of everybody in their town? What happened? What happened? People we do not know. People we do not fight with. I take a rifle and I go inside a school or university or, or, or a mall and I start shooting everybody. All the mental illness you see in the society today is because there is no society. What we have today is a housing society, which means people live as individual, grow as individual, and die as individual. There's no society. And this individual, he goes through a lot of things in his individual housing. Anger. He felt he is being left alone. He felt like he is nobody. He felt he is not successful. So if there is somebody is rich, he have a villa and I have nothing. I get angry. This society is not fair for me. And because actually I saw a commercial uh, for a video for children's from Disneyland. I don't know if any of you saw it. It's a cartoon. And the cartoon, the boy, he said in the cartoon, I have a plan. The kids, they look at him in the cartoon. He said, what? He said, we are going to rob the headquarter of Santa Claus. Hey, I mean, this is what Disneyland is teaching your kids. Little innocent kids, they are learning the word, let us go and rob. Do you see how those satanic, they are destroying your society? So now kids who they are five years old, they will watch this. Let us rob Santa Claus, the headquarter of Santa Claus. So what do you expect from kids who they are going to be men in the future? They will be what? Drug dealers. Yeah, I could not believe it that the commercial is saying, let us, let us rob. What? Very disgusting. So what do you expect from kids to be in the future? This is why you have to monitor, like in the old days, like I remember when I was a kid, uh, we used to wa watch uh, like a cowboy, you know? And you know, like, uh, you know, in the Middle East, we have a short time movie, like there's two hours, not like now, like you have a thousand of stations, uh, we have one, two stations, that's it. So the cowboy movie, is about good guys who go after the criminals. Always. Which means teaching a good ethic. And those are the American movies, the cowboy. So there's a bad criminals who come to town and do something wrong. And there's the good guys, they stand against them and get rid of them. Now it's the opposite. 